This is an amp pedal. More specifically, it's the Orange Terror Stamp Pedal. Essentially, this is a pedal version of Orange's Micro Dark Amp, which makes it perfect to add to your pedal board to make gigging really easy and portable. This pedal's been out for a while now, but it's quite interesting in the last few years, the concept of an amp pedal has really come into fashion. With companies such as Universal Audio releasing their own amp pedals, they've become quite popular, especially in the last couple of years. And there's no secret as to why. The technology inside most of them have come on leaps and bounds and the sound really isn't that different to an actual amp. However, what is the difference and how different does it sound to a proper amp? Well, that's what we're going to find out today. And who better to help us discern the difference between this and the amp that we're going to pit it against the Dual Dark than well, the guy who designed them both. I headed down to our shop in Brighton and met up with Aid Emsley, the technical director of Orange Amps. Well, the Terra stamp was a request to do a micro dark in a pedal but still an amp. So I wanted to add something to it without really changing it too much. So I just did the, made it so the stomp switches between the two volumes. So you can set one louder for lead and stuff like that. So that's the only change to the, the circuit design really, you know. It's the same power supply. I mean, we were actually comparing it here against the tube version, which is the Dark Terror, which was, the Micro Dark was meant to be like a miniature version with one tube doing stages three and four, you know. Whereas that's all tube. Well, the cab sim's an analog cab sim, so you can still do quite a lot with post if you record that. You might want to filter it more and fine tune it. But the, the only thing is, see with IRs, you can sometimes get a lag. It just, sometimes you can feel them not in the same way that a tube amp would be reacting to a speaker, but you can just feel that the guitar isn't instant, very instant, you know. Whereas with an analog cab sim, you won't get that. It's just on the headphone out, the cab sim, so it's really for, if you're in a hotel room and you just want to practice your chops on tour, mm -hmm. and you've got that with you, you just plug the he headphones in. <laughs> Well, I mean, that's the real deal. That's going to move a lot more air. You could gig with that like that. That will be loud if you crank it. We're only on two, volume-wise. Yeah. Do you know? Uh, once you get that past about six or seven, this control, yeah. you start pushing into the L84s. So they start saturating as well. Yeah. And then all the magic starts kicking off, you know. Now for this experiment today, I wanted to make this as portable as possible. There is a speaker output on here that we could have technically plugged into the same 4x12 that we plugged the Dual Dark into, but I kind of thought that was a kind of cheating and we're here to kind of get rid of as much bulk as possible. So we're using the cab simulation on the back. It's normally a headphone output that simulates kind of a speaker, uh, but we're gonna plug it straight into our portable zoom recorder. And the dual dark is plugged into a four x 12 orange cab, and it has a simple 57 on it running into the same recorder. And here they are. <laughs>
that was the Terra Amstamp versus the Dual Dark. There isn't a substitute for a proper valve amp, just the way it feels in your hands. But look, I mean, if you don't want to lug one of those all the way to wherever you need to go, having one of these in your pedal board setup just makes it so much easier. And to be honest, the difference to the people who are listening to it is not as big a difference as to the person who's got it in their hands. But what do you guys think? Which one did you prefer? Let us know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to see more things like this, and we will see you very soon. <laughs>